what is keeping domestic investors positive compared to the foreigners? Uh, why is it that we continue to buy in and buoy the markets at the 6,300 level, as you mentioned, and yet we are seeing a pain and exodus? And when is this pain going to end, especially as you know the global mm -hmm. markets and equities have started picking up mm -hmm. and there's even a flow towards emerging markets? I, I think, first of all, in terms of the domestic, I think um, domestic investors have a better sense of what's really happening in the economy. Um, I think the bottom line here is um, it's vaccine. Uh, once vaccine uh, will start to arrive uh, substantially, therefore, uh, confidence in the market will return. And that should uh, uh, allow the government uh, by opening, uh, opening the market uh, uh, more uh, by opening the market further. And as you've seen in the past, uh, if the government, when the government reopens the economy, you've seen um, a, there's a really pent up demand. So I, I think that's basically where uh, the domestic investor stands right now. Um, they believe that um, we've already seen the worst. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of time when a vaccine will arrive. Then once the vaccine arrives and the government reopens the, the economy, then uh, we see start of a strong recovery uh, that will happen. Uh, I think that's basically the premise why uh, domestic investors are still uh, buying into, into the market. Sir, how big of an impact uh, will this ECQ, MECQ, have on your earnings outlook uh, in 2021? Um, are there going to be, you know, you, you can see on my terminal here that the PE valuations, you know, were already, uh, you know, back to, to 24, in fact, at, at the beginning of the year, and then they were already back to above 18. Um, now they're sliding further and further down. Uh, to what extent do you see a difficult year when it comes to the corporate earnings, especially if we base it on the first quarter? Um, definitely, uh, we may be seeing some some adjustments uh, because of uh, the, the uh, lockdown. Um, and in a way, um, uh, economic growth will be much, or recovery will be much slower as compared uh, to what we earlier anticipated. Uh, nevertheless, I, I think um, the adjustments um, uh, will also, I think investors will just be focusing more on uh, the arrival of, of the vaccines. And um, in a way, investors are basically all, they always look forward. They always look ahead. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think they've already seen uh, what happened uh, in, in, in because of the lockdown. And therefore, um, I, I believe that the uh, Investors have already priced in uh, the anticipated uh, uh, cut down in terms of their forecasts. And basically what the investors are looking right now are basically when will the uh, vaccine arrive? And mm -hmm. once they've seen a substantial arrival, then I think they're basically looking forward beyond 2021. 